Hello and welcome back to my Getting Started series in Adobe Animate. If you've been following along, so far we've managed our workspace, we've learned how to use the drawing tools, created symbols, learned how to create classic tweens, and learned all about movie clips. In this video, I'd like to show us how to upgrade our artwork using the amazing powerful gradients in Adobe Animate. I've used gradient tools for numerous projects, from creating artwork, designing interfaces, Here's another interface design I created using the gradients in Animate. Here's the interface. I'll just show you a couple of the animations here. And here I have an animation of the motor. This whole thing was created here in Animate, drawn from scratch. And it looks 3D, but it's just the gradients that are making it look 3D like that. I also have this animation here of the pump. Again, all the gradients I've used to make this look a little more 3D. You can see it animate. So again, just all gradients. I've also used gradients here in Animate to convert a bitmap to a vector. So this top image is a bitmap. To make it smaller and scalable, I've resized it and redrew it inside of Adobe Animate using the gradients to make it look just like the original. I've done that with a lot of different graphics here. You'll see this lunch tray of food, all using the powerful gradients in Adobe Animate 2020. So let's jump in. So before we begin, I just want to change a couple of the preferences in the new Adobe Animate 2020 application. So let's go under the Edit Preferences menu. For a Mac, that's Animate Preferences, Edit Preferences, or File Edit Preferences on a PC. And I just want to change the UI appearance from Comfortable to Compact. You'll see that it tightens up my timeline and also tightens up the tools a little bit. Next, we'll go back again, and under Preferences, we'll make this set to Expert Preferences again which tightens up the ship here and lastly i would navigate back to my workspace that we created in our first video of the series and now we're ready to begin so here's our boat you can see there is no gradients involved here and i'm just going to jump into the library and we're going to double click or knock 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 on our boat to jump into the editing area and i want to recolorize this using gradients so i'm going to go up here and grab my color panel and you'll see here it says solid color so i'm just going to click here and select linear gradient and now you'll see a gradient pops up at the bottom with two color stops. One at the left here, which is black, and the other color stop on the right, which is white. And you see when I click on them, the top of the color stop, the little triangle goes black, and it shows the color here that's selected. And I click on this little white selector, and again, it shows me the hexadecimal code for that color, and you can see that the little top triangle is black. So we have a two-stop gradient. If I want to add more stops or more colors in between, I could simply just click on the way and then double click any of these colors to change the color. And then I have my new gradient here. Just as easy if I want to get rid of them, I could just click and drag and just kind of throw it away off to the bottom of the panel. And all we need is two right now. And I want to make a gradient using the colors that I've already selected. And if I double click here, I only have the web palette with 216 colors. It's gonna be really tough for me to select the exact same brown that I have here in my boat and then a darker one. So what I do is just drag outside of this panel and select the color we already have, this brown. I'll do that again on the second stop. And now I don't have a gradient, I have a solid color. But what I can do to make it a gradient is click on the second stop or the first, doesn't really matter. And if I change my hue, saturation, and brightness to brightness, I can then drag this slider to darken the color that I'm using, which in this case is brown. And now I have a nice gradient going from brown to dark brown. I can collapse this panel. I'll grab my paint bucket tool and I'll just click to add the gradient to my boat. I could also click and drag to help the gradient kind of direct it, to angle it by direction, the way I drag it, or to make it, you'll see drag longer or wider across the boat. But I can also use the gradient transform tool, which is sandwiched right here underneath the free transform tool, or press the letter F. And the gradient transform tool is what makes this super powerful. So here, if I click inside on my gradient, you'll see now I have this little center point. This shows me where the gradient will lie, the center point of that gradient. And on the outside here, I can stretch the gradient, making it longer or shorter to fit within my boat here. At the top here, I can rotate the gradient and I'll drag the center point. Maybe I'll stretch this out a little bit. 
And that looks pretty good. It's light and it gets darker as the boat goes towards the front. All right, so let's do that again. I'll go under my swatches here. Again, I'll grab and double click the stop, but I'll instead grab the inside color of the boat. I'll do that again with the second stop, darken it using the brightness. There we go. I'll collapse the panel. And again, using my paint bucket tool, I will fill in these areas inside the boat. I'll go back here and grab my gradient transform tool again, and I'll click, and that one looks actually doesn't look so bad. And I can just click on the gradient, and maybe this I'll rotate so it gets darker going inside of the boat, make it a little smaller so that the highlight is in the top, and then it gets darker as it goes inside the boat, giving it some depth. Click here again, again I'll rotate this one, and one more time, scale this in, rotate it, maybe move the center point around, tighten it up so I can see the darkness at the bottom there, something like that. All right, let's move on to the seats. I'll grab this color swatch, double click, select the color that I'm already using it, makes it much easier for me to redraw this. All right, so now I have that green to green gradation and I'll click on this second stop and on the brightness, I will slide this down to darken up my green, which basically is just adding either black or white, right? That's what the brightness is doing. And grab my paint bucket, add the gradient, and then go get my gradient transform tool to perfect it a little bit. So I'll rotate this and I'll scale it down a little bit. Looks like it's kind of getting darker as it goes back in time. Again, I'll rotate that, scale this in a little bit. So something like that. The last thing I'd like to do is maybe get rid of the stroke now. Now that we have gradients, we don't really need the stroke at the bottom here of the boat, so I'll press and delete that. The stroke to the left, I'll delete that. The stroke to the right of the boat, I'll click and delete that. Maybe I'll delete the line behind the seat. We wouldn't see that. And maybe this line here we wouldn't see. You can get rid of this one here. And then all I have left is now is the top edge outline of the boat, which I'm going to click and double click actually to select all of the outlines here, the two pieces near the seat and the outline of the boat. In my properties panel, maybe I could make this little line, maybe I'll make that like three or four pixels thick. And then maybe we'll add like a light color to the top of that boat there. So something like that. And it kind of gives it like this little kind of edge, like the boat has like this highlighted edge, giving it some thickness and some depth. I'll test it again. And now you can see we have this semi-looking 3D boat using gradients in Adobe Animate. Try upgrading the sail and the water using the same exact technique. Maybe with the water you can use multiple stops to go from dark blue to lighter blue to lighter blue to a little bit of white and maybe even alpha transparency on that white. See you next time.